I've been trading for 20 years and I learned one thing. Many traders are always looking for the next big thing, the next trading strategy that will make them rich. They are constantly searching for new indicators, new patterns and new ways to trade. However, they often neglect the most important thing, their own trading plan. Don't get me wrong, many traders have a trading plan, but the plan is often not written clearly and concisely. So this can make it difficult to follow the plan and execute your trade effectively. This video doesn't focus on what to include in your trading plan, but rather aims to demonstrate the language style of writing your trading plan. A trading plan is a roadmap for your trading. It should define your trading goals, your trading strategies, and your risk management rules. It should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. A few things to note when writing a trading plan. Use simple language that is easy to understand. Avoid jargon and technical terms. Be specific and avoid vague language. Use bullet points to make your plan easy to scan. And lastly, keep your plan concise and to the point. Over the years, I've seen many traders who do not create their trading plans in a clear and precise manner. This can make it difficult to follow their trading plan when they encounter problems, especially during periods of losses. As the plan was not constructed straightforwardly, imagine that you are frantic from a series of losses and you wanted to refer to your plan. You look and you look and then you say, oh yeah, I can't understand my trading plan. I believe that how you write your trading plan is as important as what you write it. This is why I want to share with you what I have found that many traders loosely worded and not precise enough. For example, I will trade the forex market. This is too vague. What currency pans are you going to trade? What time frame are you going to trade? What trading strategies are you going to use? Or are you going to say, I will only enter trades that have a high probability of success. This is also vague too. What is your definition of a high probability of success? What trading indicators will you use to determine that probability of success? Or some traders will write, I will manage risk carefully. Well, this is a good start, but what it needs to be more precise and more specific, how much risk are you willing to take on each trade, what is your stop loss level, and how do you determine that stop loss level? For example, you know, in your trading plan, you can include these very specific languages. Instead of saying, I will trade the forex market, you say, I will trade euro versus the dollar currency pair in the one hour time frame. This will be very specific because you mentioned what currency and what time frame. Instead of saying I will only enter a high probability of success trade, say that I will enter a trade when the price breaks above the 200 day moving average as this has been a reliable signal in the past. So you define your high probability as, for example, above the 200 days moving average. So for example, if you want to say, I will manage my risk carefully, say I will put a stop loss of 100 pips for each trade. So it will be very specific. Your loss would be 100 pips. Remember, you need to be very specific, very concise when you want to formulate your trading plan and your language should be written in a very precise manner as well. Here are some other you know, uh, tips that you can use. For example, use numbers and percentage instead of vague terms like high or low. Instead of saying, I will exit a trade when the price is low, say, I will exit a trade when the price reaches 50 pips below my entry price. So this is the low price and what is the low price? 50 pips. Instead of saying, I will use a stop loss of a high amount. Say, I will use a stop loss of 100 pips. So it's very precise. You will take profit or you will have a stop loss of 100 pips. Or for example, you say you want to have a take profit of uh, a high point, right? Instead of saying high point, you will take profit of 150 pips from your entry level. Define your terms clearly. Use specific numbers like percentage. Don't just say, I want to have risk management. Don't just say, I want to have high probability trade, right? Use numbers like, I want to have a stop loss at X pips away. Or I want to use only 2% of my uh, capital, for example. Most of the time, when our trade goes south and we don't act according to our expectation, we always refer to the trading plan. But if your plan is full of jargon and you can't even understand what's being written there, you will be in this very panicky mode, panicky state because you can't even refer to it. 
easy to understand plan. So jargon and technical terms can be confusing and ambiguous. They can have different meanings to different people and it can be very difficult to understand what it means. This can be made right such that you can simplify your jargons. Okay, no more jargons in your plan. Right, what are the jargons that people will use? A jargons, for example, I will use a stop loss to limit my losses. So this to me as a jargon, you can say that I will set a stop loss order to sell my trade if the price falls below a certain level. So it becomes very specific. If you have a buy trade, your stop loss would be below the buy trade. Or jargon can be I will take profit when the price reaches my profit target. Well, in plain English, it means that I will close my trade when the price reaches a certain level that I'm happy with. Or other jargon like I will use a Fibonacci retracement tools to identify potential support and resistance levels. You see, it's a mouthful, right? Fibonacci as support and resistance. You can say simply in English, I will use a Fibonacci retracement chart to see where the price has been in the past and where it might go in the future. So simple language, easy to understand language and skip your jargon. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? I hope that this is useful and if you want more trading advice, please remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new videos every week and until next time, remember the market is a jungle and you don't have to be a monkey, you just have to be smart and stay disciplined. These are trades which are done by myself or my students using the Alan Wall strategy. Join our community and take advantage of our 6 times a week training lessons, automated trade signals and live trading sessions with our experienced Alien traders. And for a limited time, we are offering a 100% full cashback offer on our course fee. That's right, you can learn our strategy risk-free. Over 1,000 students have already taken advantage of this offer and seen success. Visit this website now to learn more and join our community.